pre-stream dance, pre-stream dance. Gotta do this jazzy fucking little number we've got here. Look at this little, this little jazzy tune we got going on. Hello everyone, welcome back to the stream. My name is Horb Gorb, and I am recovering from a random bout of vertigo, which is fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, according to the doctor I talked to, it's just something that can randomly happen sometimes. Uh, because of crystals in your ear canal, so that's fun. But I'm almost back to normal, I just wanted to play something that was a little more chill tonight. And I, um, I, uh, have been wanting to play this game for quite a while. Uh, this is, this game has actually been on my radar for longer than it's been popular for. So, you know, I knew about this game before it was popular. Um. But I'm very excited to play it tonight. Let's say hello to everybody in the chat. Hello, Rose. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Fatman Rolling. Hello, Mr. Sir. Hello, Gerbil. Hello, Alyssa Star. Hello, Lucas. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. For this game. This game. Um. <laughs> time to play what I've heard is a very normal game. Super normal. Just like everyone in chat will be. Right, guys? <laughs> Please be normal and chat about this. Listen, listen. Everybody gotta be normal, okay? Except me, because I'm gonna be simping for Andy. Okay, listen, listen. He's tired. He looks like he could be a dishwasher. He's even got utensils. He's about to wash those dishes, okay? <laughs> okay. I don't have a type, shut up. Um, <laughs> leans the microphone. No. <laughs> Batman says, incest and cannibalism is chill. It's true. It's true. Very chill and very normal. Uh, this- I've heard that besides the incest of this game is actually kind of funny sometimes. Oh yeah, for sure. Simping for Andy is morally justified. Simping for Lily will, uh, result in a bonk! It's true. I- I have equipped- I'm kinda loud. I have equipped Gerbil and Madam with ban hammers. And they are armed and ready to use them. For the horn- they've got the horny mallets. They're ready. Uh- so, yeah, so I'm excited for this game. As you know, I love me a good RPG maker horror game. And um, this stream title is called Hedgehog Reliving Her Writing Sins because, believe it or not, I, I wrote an incest couple in a, in a story. It's called Das Vidania, so if this interests you, you should probably read that. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, I can use, oh, I can use a controller. I can use a controller. <laughs> Lays my neck out for the execution bog. <laughs> Okay, I can use a controller. We're gonna use a controller then. You heard it here first. Gerbil wants to bonk any homies. But what if I sim for Lily? I know you do, madam. You fuck. Well, screw you. We are all Andy stands here. Okay, here we go. Lily, I don't want to. Oh, we're starting out great. Well, I do. Just go over and get to, to you. Hello, Mindplex. Welcome. I thought she was your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Hello, Garrett Allen. God, please tell me that Twitter hates this game because of incest and not something else. It is because of incest. I've heard- I've actually heard this game is very good. Good morning, Ashley! Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go! Oh cool, it has a little thing when I can look at stuff. A bunch of rented movies, their due date passed ages ago, but what can you do? The game narrator gets me. Oh, this room is disgustingly dirty. This room is disgustingly dirty, okay. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. We're gonna move with the D-pad because it's a little easier. Here's- here's a- here's a bedroom. Oh! Whatever. Just leave it. <laughs> People hating horror game for having bad things in it. Shocker! Literally! Uh, also, how's the volume, everybody? Is the volume good? Um, I gotta turn down on my end a little bit. I love- I love people, like, saying, This game is objectively and morally wrong! It never said it was trying to be. <laughs> it never said it was trying to be. Hi, Adrian. Welcome. Welcome to the, to the stream. Your parents have fucked on this bed. Thanks for that insight. 
appreciate it. Okay, what else? Because I know where to get nutrients. What's over here? This is a Oh look, it's it's him. Andrew is asleep. You can't eat him. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> In the trash lie your hopes and dreams. Exactly where they belong. God, I love this game already. It's what I love about this game. People having meltdowns assume it's supposed to be morally pure. It's like the people who get angry at villains who do evil things. It's literally the whole point of it. Not with that attitude. <laughs> so I complain. Oh no, literally, I totally agree. I think people overreact. Like, I was just talking to Alamis earlier today, and we were talking about this game, and we were talking about how we both think it's really, really silly that um, people hold fictional characters to their same moral standards when literally a genuine point of fiction as far back as ancient Greek days go is catharsis and is being able to experience things that you can't do in real life without hurting people. Uh, because fiction doesn't hurt anyone. There's an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Lily, and the very, very qu quiet? Andy and Lily and the very, very quiet in all capital letters. No, sorry, it's Andy and Lily and the very, very quiet! As your original vision clearly intended it. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. I'm gonna turn me down a little bit more. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna turn the game down just a little bit too. That's still good, right guys? An alarm clock is ticking away. Ah. Okay, what's in here? The freezer is completely empty. I have a feeling they're very quiet or quiet because they are... Fiction doesn't hurt anyone, says the author of Eenie Valley and Joss Madonna. <laughs> Listen, I meant physically. And mentally, it can hurt very much, as I have proven. The freezer is completely empty. Imagine a hipster in ancient Greek times. Oh, you have Persian poetry? Only real ones have the Sumerian classics. <laughs> Most pretentious voice ever, it's true. Emotional damage! Yeah. The chat's always bopping when we play these uh, explore horror games, and I'm very happy. And so the cabinets is nothing! Cool. What's in here? There's a bathroom. Can I drink the bleach? Detergent, drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. It's a washing machine. Thanks. It's a cleaning closet. This game would've been much better if I had the same incest sex plot but Lily is replaced by Homelander. Oh god. Inside are various supplies such as trash bags. All right. Let us see what's in here. The balcony door is locked. The front door is locked. You've been locked in here for months now. What is this game? I've been seeing fan art of it for days. It is a game about, as the author describes, codependency and cannibalism. Okay, well there's like no food. Um, there's, there's no food. Where's the food? Stick around and find out, it's true. Trash? This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. Ooh, cannibalism! Yes, God, no! Not codependency! But wait, what is that? Ah, oh, can of tomatoes! You should show that to your brother. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go show this to the bro. Hey, broski! My incredibly hot broski. Hey, man. You show him the tomato can. Ta da! Oh, he's so upset. I'm- you might need to use the horny hammer on me. Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! Hello, Noah. Welcome to the stream. We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a bit longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in? Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. <laughs> Who is this Andrew guy? And why? Are, and why are you Ashley? Where's Andy and Lele? Where's Andy and Lele? 
Andrew Garfield? No, not Andrew Garfield. Ugh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth? I will! I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine. Let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. This lad looks habitually tired, angry, whereas the last looks chaotically evil and she'd stab me. Obviously the murderous one is correct. No, you are incorrect because I am the murderous. Oh, tips from Noah. Why did I not hear that? Uh, it's because collab got turned off. Let me replay that. Hello? Oh, Holmes. My fucking alert box, not collab. There we go. It played now. The <laughs> Let me turn on the uh, one more time. I gotta turn on the audio. There you go. It replay. <laughs> Sorry, Noah. This is the stream of all time. Listen, I have an excuse, okay? I have an excuse. I, uh... I made it. What did I miss? Not much. We're gonna cook some tomatoes. We're cooking some tomatoes. We're stuck in our house. This is our last can of tomatoes. So Good day! Are you still alive in there? Oh, she's upset. Hello! If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And don't bring food for the dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring to the living either! Huh. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah. Not my job. I'll check on in on you again later. Bye. No, wait! Wait! Wait, come back! Send me your location, rah. He doesn't. God damn it. Okay, I guess we're making our tomatoes. I watched a review of this game, and when I found out the plot, I was freaked out from, from some places to put it mildly surprised. Fair enough. <sighs> you boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. Rest in peace. No salt. You've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Rest in peace. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again. Wanna go take a peek? Nope. Well, I'll come along if you do. Here. Ah, I almost did her voice. Here! Catch. Awesome. Ah, he's in our party. Beautiful. 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 Also, I love that we're playing as Lily, and she's not the love interest to fawn over. This is- this is amazing. We love it. Andrew is the correct canonical choice for love interest. What are they doing? An ashtray. There are no cigarettes. <laughs> I forgot to turn off. I forgot to. I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot to turn off the the scream cam one. So I guess you're really gonna, really gonna get me today. <laughs> uh, man, this game is weird. Imagine a plot focused around incest. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine that. Who would, who would ever do something like that? <laughs> one, two, three, tree. Welcome to the stream. It seems you are new. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. It's still good for bashing things in. How should I grab the animatronics and get quirky at night? <laughs> Only a real sicko would write an incest plot. <laughs> hmm. Can't really see squad from here. You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Aw, he's no fun. That was a terrible way to be introduced to this channel, the loud screech in the eardrums. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Listen, that's that's the best that's the best intro to my channel you need, okay? Guess you have to set something to cross. Okay. You can't cross this as it is. We gotta find something to cross this balcony. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Pillows? Oh my god, it's white noise! How thrilling! Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? 
Earphones, earphones. Well, this is just a warning for everybody to stop turning your headphones up too loud. Play them at a reasonable volume, for God's sake. Aha, wooden plank. I'm a genius. I'd simply make the jump. These two are wimps. That's true. It's only the fourth floor. Jump, coward. Sit down the wooden plank. Let's go. The boxes are full of useless junk. What's a reasonable volume then? Not loud enough to blow your eardrums. These two are such freaks. I love them. Oh! Oh, demons from hell. Hear my plea! Alternatively, don't plug in headphones. Let the people around you judge you, especially if you're in public. That's the best thing to do. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice. Oh, cool. Hedgehog is playing the funny siblings game. Indeed, I am. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Ugh, the remote is dead. Oh, so now there's a cultist. Hedgehog, did you write this game? Well, literally, I found this game on Itch, like, probably, like, a month ago, or maybe, like, two months ago. And, like, everything about it was, like, really nice art style, hot as fuck, future dishwasher, sad boy, cult activity, in cannibalism. This is everything I would write. What the fuck? <laughs> Are they in a prison? Why are they locked in their in their flat? I don't know. I, I they're under some sort of house arrest. It seems. This is just the Dos Vidani video game adaptation. You can't fool us, Hedgehog. <laughs> listen, listen. If I was secretly the the creator of a game like this, you would know because you'd recognize the art style because there would be dragons. <laughs> because I can't draw. <laughs> No talks about how this game was made by one woman all on her own. No, it's true. This is incredibly impressive. This game looks fantastic. Yo, was that the dishwasher for the Xbox 360 arcade reference? No. I don't know what that is. Anyway, the remote's dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Ugh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, what was you? Oh, look at his little smurvy little face! Oh! It is. Listen, listen, I'm simping for Andy because I am just Ashley. We all know this. We all know this. Okay, we gotta find some batteries. Uh, I keep my batteries in the kitchen. You're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Okay, it's not in the kitchen. This is it Andy's bedroom? Let's go snooping around. He's not, oh, I guess this is both our bedroom, technically, because that's my bed. And there's my desk. Okay, nothing in here. How old are Andrew and Ashley? They are uh, 20 and 22, I think, is what the itch page said. I think Ashley's 20 and Andrew's 22. They are well into their adult years, so don't worry about that, at the very least. Um, there's a run button. Yes, there is. Okay, just in case I need that later, which I very well might. Empty freezer. Is it by the phone? Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. Uh, you've also tried to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. Um, where are the bat trees? Are they in a cabinet, maybe? A cleaning closet. A mop. Nothing in there. That's the toilet. Um, where the fuck? Where the fuck? Would batteries be? A lone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning is inside. Can't open that. Where in the fubbernuck? They gotta be around here somewhere. I can fix her. <laughs> no, she will make you worse. She will make you worse. Um, that's yeah. That's the bathroom again. We've already been in there. <laughs> One. No, you can't. <laughs> You aren't even related to her. You don't have a chance. Two, how bad is she? She's pretty bad. <laughs> Come on. Where are these batteries? Oh, okay. I just stole his batteries from his alarm clock. 
Why fix her? She's so much better or worse. So true. So I hate it when guys like take like the best female characters <laughs> and say I can fix her. No, she's perfect as she is. You just need to be better for her. Okay. I've got the remote right here. No, it's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. <laughs> Jesus Christ on a bendy bus mindplex. You couldn't fix a hot meal. Oh! Why fix her when it, when it is what, what why fix what is way more awesome when broken? It's true. Oh, we've we've received our first bonk of the evening from Gerbil. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope, I decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I am not. I'm taking on the Her Herculean task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We are happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again! And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. Didn't realize this game was based in Flint, Michigan. I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Hello, Audi Rail Studios. Welcome. You appear to be slightly new around here. Welcome to the stream. I'm a hedgehog. I'm getting over about a vertigo. So, I'm loopy and we're playing this stupid cannibalism game. Here we are. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom... Why does Andrew look like the Joker? Like like Joker from the hit game Piss Owner 5 for the Xbox One. <laughs> not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker! There we go. This writer is after my own heart. I, f I feel we are akin. I feel we are akin to each other. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not? Then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear those lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Oh, they're in quarantine. That answers my early question. Yes, it looks like they are in quarantine. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call me anymore. I won't answer. Wow, what the fuck's up with her mom? G goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Rude? After reminiscing all night, you wake up! As one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean your house up a bit. That's fucked up, mom. Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. Wow, I can't believe I'm doing all of my brother's gross laundry. Absolutely unbelievable. You're not going to clean this with your bare hands. Okay, so we have to we have to, we have to put the laundry to put the laundry in here, right? Right, let's put the laundry in the washing machine. Need some more laundry. Okay, we're missing some laundry. Clearly there's some laundry around the house somewhere that we are in fact missing. Is it in the parents' room? Or is it here? You're not gonna get this okay. Cleaned up some books. Cleaned up some books. Clean up some books. Return all the books to the shelf. Now, what else could you clean? Okay. Where the fuck is the rest of the laundry? Where the fuck is the rest of the laundry? Where the fuck is the rest of the laundry? Did I just miss some in my bedroom? Yes. Ugh. 
Not really just committed literal freaking abandonment. It's true. The music is super good. Oh, for sure. What mom do? Ashley's the one lying about starving. Wow. Truly a kind and caring parent. Uh oh, mom's an emotional neglect. <laughs> You're cleaning. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. <laughs> just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we have, even have any detergent left? Well, we're gonna see if we have any detergent left. Uh, let's stick that in there. You're missing the detergent. Got detergent. Stick her in. You're in the laundry. Now what else can you clean? Let's grab the bucket and the bop. Did I just say the muppet and the bop? I did. The bop. The bucket and the mop. Listen, listen, I'm struggling, okay. You're feeling dizzy. Why am I feeling dizzy? Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. Oh, because she's starving. That would make sense. Good news, once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been sh supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything for you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course. What is it? The shift in, his, in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no. Go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. It's nice to see that the government is doing such a good job taking care of these quarantine people. It's true. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or... I mean, yes, but that doesn't matter. No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's incre increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about... You don't... Lee and Ashley and... Had the time to think. Just can't anymore. Is there a reason? Is there a lower reason why Ashley and Andrew don't just buy food online? Are they stupid? I think they're not allowed to. They don't have a computer, it looks like. They only have a TV. So that's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... The faint beep, beep, beep of a dropped call can be heard. Ugh. A female voice. OMG, he's cheating on Ashley! <laughs> so that the food they ordered by phone doesn't show up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Ooh, she dumped you? Why is that? What do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined. Or because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. <laughs> Angie's a better woman than Ashley, Dribble. <laughs> Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Brother, UK. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving! Damn, Ashley rude. <laughs> Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Color me surprised. I actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if that other siren's blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? 
What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, he's got some anger. Uh, he's got some anger. That's even better. He's got some anger. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> we Here we are with Ashley and Doug Bailey. I mean, <laughs> maybe she went into labor or something. <laughs> why don't they just use photosynthesis? They're too white to photosynthesize. He does! A cycle of shadow! Woo! Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got pre- Nope. Let me finish! How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body! And angsty, pasty, emo, MCR boys are Hedge's type. Yes. <laughs> I mean... Yes! <laughs> I mean, yes! Anyway, he seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He might just end you. You know who else is angry? Hedgehog. In fact, she is extremely agitated due to the lack of donations. Give me your fucking money! Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman, that woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. Andrew, who said you would even make- Who would even get you pregnant here, Ashley? Go look at a mirror, bro! Very good shilling dribble. I think it would be good to voice- I think it would be good to voice it. That's fair. This could- this could be a fun thing to voice. That's very true. Um... Dragon will- will be very sad when I come to him and say, Hey, so I'd like to voice the call from your van, Lily. Hey, Dragon. <laughs> Dragon, please make my angsty little emo boy dreams come true. Oh, well, please. <laughs> you and Dragon easy. Yeah, yeah. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Dragon, be my brother. <laughs> Probably. Huh. I'll pay you exactly 600 Zimbabwean dollars, which is probably about 130 euros. It's true. Oh, I'm moving so slow. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, never mind. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Why does Andrew just eat Ashley? Is he stupid? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you gonna try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. Quid, not euros. I'm not a bloke from- Sorry, that should be quid. I just- listen, listen. I'm gonna be honest. Woo! <laughs> Alright. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't bring you any- be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way! Says you. The delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And so you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. Ugh. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger? You'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care not or care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad in here. Imagine this game is just watching these two starve to death in real time. That would be such a dark twist. I'm starting to think it is. Come again. Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. You want to jump off the balcony? Oh, I'll race you! <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me. What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. 
and with such force our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains get so tangled up that have to bury us together in the same coffin. As the name of the game! It's the coffin of Andy and Lily! Ah! Might as well have been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity anyway. How romantic, says Mr. Sir. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? No wonder that your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Name drop, roll the credits! Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again, I wish you'd just... Oh. You feel like you should check up on that. All right, let's go. Let's go see what he summoned. My lord, you've come. And you're, uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, um, I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can give you anything you wish. So, we're, we're, ag we're agreeing that, um, we're agreeing that if, uh, Dragon and I are, are Andy and Lily, that, um, Alamis is the demon, right? <laughs> That's what we're going with? Is that no good? As you wish, human. Tomas offered anything you wish. My lord, thank you, thank you! Like a fool. Perish! Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. Aaron Kennedy, ever get so desperate you attempt to eat Satan? It's true. Ah! Closer dots! So, uh, am I already delirious, or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do we want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew! You make it sound like we're gonna die any day now. Oh, well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's gotta be something this guy has that we can eat. Oh, -ho! burglary time! Summoning a demon results in bad things happening to me. My, my, my something when. My, it's, my rear when? Why is there an R? I don't know. The doorknob taunting from the other side of the glass. Okay, how do I get in there? Okay. Reaction, oh. Oh, well, listen. Come on, Hedge, listen. Shut up. Okay, at least this game tells me when I can interact with something, so at the very least, I'll know what I find when I'm looking. I know when I... I know... I'll, I'll know what I find when I'm looking for. God, I am... I'm tired, man, you guys. Being, being able to not get out of bed because you're so dizzy for two days, like, really fucking takes it out of you, man. I don't know. It starts a blasting Darude Sandstorm. Okay. Oh. Duh. I'm an idiot. Door unlocked! Ashley limits listens to my chemical romance, but only ironically. It's true. Andrew listens to them unironically. It's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud! Apparently. Though I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you wanna eat him! Isn't that what you were insinuating? No, I was just making an observation. Huh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we won't get caught once they finally let us out. MCR makes my past boyhood quiver. MCR makes my current girlhood quiver. But it's not like we killed the guy. Bog. <laughs> I think just messing with the corpse is a crime, too. Preen disease is on the phone and wants to reverse charge. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though? 
And before that, you're gonna tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Both of you too soon, they'll let you out. They'd let you out, Andrew. Listen, listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, um, yeah. All right then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. It's been 30 minutes until cannibals. Okay, let's turn that fucking off. Holy shit. Well, that convenient cleaver. Here we go. So, you get the arms and I'll handle the legs. Oh, fatal error. It is not bright right now. It it is it is the Midwest right now. It gets dark at five p.m. I have a lot of lights on. That's why it's light. So that the lighting on my face is good. My brother in Christ, at least look through the house for food before you jump to the conclusion that you eat him. <laughs> I want to call this left arm. Next up is the right arm. We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Andrew, you're laughing. We're about to eat a human meat and you're laughing. <laughs> I love it being night at 5 p.m. Woo! Okay, let's go get some plastic bags. I'm assuming they're over at our place. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yes. Why, yeah. Well, yes, these are perfectly suitable plastic bags. They're also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat you're about to eat inside a used trash bag. Find something else. I like how they at least, like, like, note, like, referenced and noticed that that was an option. That that was what people were gonna think. Where the cult's got all that blood anyhow? Has he been spending weeks cutting himself a wee bit each day until he completes the symbol? Well, you two are probably gonna take the stream down because of gore. Nah, it's too cartoonish gore. They're not, they're not gonna, they're not gonna bother. They're not gonna bother with this one. Oh, I flush the toilet. Okay, maybe it is in his apartment. Um, unless it's in our room, which doesn't really seem reasonable to me. Okay, I'm gonna guess that they're over at his place. I love games that sass you when you pick the obviously wrong option as a joke. Oh, sure. This game, the RPG Maker games, like, one of their greatest strengths is that they have such good opportunities to say dumb shit. The closet's big enough to hide in. Why did you say that? On the table is the book titled Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Hello, mice man. Did she reach the funny part? The funny part that they're going to eat him? Maybe. Uh, now, did they actually have 665 volumes before this one, or... Mice Man! She asked the important questions. Solar Pass Runner! Welcome, Solar Pass Runner! It's been a really long time. It's been a really long time. What about a slightly inflated guinea pig up here? Does she know? It's why Lisa deserves so much praise. It's true. I still haven't played Lisa. I, I have it in my Steam library. I've been meaning to play for years, and I just... I never played it. But what I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place? I just closed. The author must be shy. Hi, mice man. Yes, mice man, I know. Yeah, yes, mice man. I definitely know. The bathroom smells of feces and he feels your inclination to investigate further. You need to conceal this before taking it with you. That closet is big enough to hide in. Um, this apartment's even smaller than mine. Both the fridge and the freezer are empty. <laughs> Found six hundred sixty-six point six six dollars. Does she know they're cannibals? Oh, okay, but how does she feel about the bread? Where the, f the f fuck are these plastic bags I'm looking for? I can't. Where? Okay, this place is empty, so they're not here. So they must be back at our place. Does she Do you know what Lovecraft named his cat? They must be in the bathroom. I'm stupid. <laughs> Got a left leg. Got a right leg. Got a right arm. Got a left arm. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. No, you're focused on how hot Andrew is. It's true. It's 7.45 and I have not made dinner. I will go do that. Have fun, Hajiko. Thank you, Alyssa Star, for joining us. Always appreciate your presence. Crap. I don't think we can cut this through the spine either. 
Just fold them over? I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn! You see, if anybody happens to be looking out of this window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags. I love this stupid music playing while I'm trying to hide this guy in a fucking bag. Listen, this is going to... Ta-da! <laughs> oh, good God, no. Don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right. All right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty of room for... Enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Goofy sibling shenanigans. Oh boy, it's so goofy and fun. Ha ha, hee hee. They are cannibals. Put that shit in the freezer. Oh, we want to eat left arm first. Alright, time to cook. We fry some meat. Dinner's ready! Right, so... What are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up! You first. Mm -hmm. Huh? What? Oh, you're already... Okay. Imagine this episode of Little House on the Prairie. I mean, they did have that really long winter that one time. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. Ch What's her secret? Chives. <laughs> he begins retching. <laughs> No, you don't! Swallow. All of it. Mm. Well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love! So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean! Quit your nagging, woman! Like, quit your gagging, you big baby! God, I love this writing. This dialogue is so good. I'll eat it, all right? Just give me a minute. Hello, Roy McFloyd. Ewey. He is here. It has been so long since he Hoi Minoy has been in the stream. Everybody scream his name. Leroy! Quit your nagging moment. Based Jenkins! Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy. I'm so proud. Who is Leroy? Is you, Roy McFloyd? Is you? Just fuck off, Ashley. Their chemistry is great, it's so true. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. No, uh yeah -huh. we have, We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe coriander. All right, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Hey Ashley. If we ever get out of here, you really should go get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. Thanks, Andrew. What a thing to greet me greet my sleep with. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. Good night, Gabriel. Thanks for joining us, man. Have a great evening. Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. They had lentils for dinner. <laughs> or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother, mine! I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you! I am the most personest lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna go I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously! Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy! Let's leave her sitting there all night! That'll show her! Oh, this scene has implications. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lily, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. 
And she could be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. God, she's fucked up. I love her. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Ugh. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray! You're the best! God, she's so fucked up. I love her. Today's episode is titled Andy and Lily and the Bitch in a Box! One day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What a terrible little gremlin. It's true. What a terrible little gremlin. Dude, I could make her worse. <laughs> All right, mods. All right, mods. Get the pan get the get the bonk hammer from Ice Man. Get the bonk hammer out. <laughs> what do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. Hereditary is way more fucked up than I remember. <laughs> I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I want to hang out too! I've noticed that Andrew doesn't care about doing anything. He only cares about the possible consequences. And so always, what if we get caught? Or what if we get in trouble? Moron, just say no. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julie. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? I mean, she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I'll allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Oh, we get to play. Okay. This isn't just a cutscene. Oh, hammer. So, this girl is dead. I can't really think of a way that a mallet would be useful to us in this situation. I sure can. Andrew is the doormat extraordinaire. Oh, oh, and I love it. Oh, he's so bad. <laughs> he, 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 he could make me worse. <laughs> This is your RPG lobby. What do you do? <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> I could, I could make him worse. I could make him worse. Oh yes, I could. As in helping us get in the warehouse. Oh, okay, yeah. In that case, now. Ugh, Lily, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? Just you wait. Andrew gets worse in the best way. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. It's nothing. Let's keep looking. He's got such bags under his eyes. The glorious bags. The glorious bags. Gagging and crying right now. Doesn't seem like it take much effort to make him worse. You can walk all over him. Yes! The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. Though I wouldn't mind convincing her to jump anyway. To maybe twist her ankles. Maybe break her neck. Shitting and pissing and crying right now. Is something wrong? No, nah, but we can't go in this way. Okay, what? What are we doing? What are, we, are we using the hammer? Oh, yeah. Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Good night, Fat Man Rolling. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate your presence. As always, my man. Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect! Tear it open! What? I can't do that. What kind of child thinks these thoughts? Ashley. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Goodbye, Fatma. Fatma D's nuts! Ah! As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh, even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I, I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Okay, we got the hammer. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. Oh, she is gonna die of an asthma attack. They're gonna lock her in the box and she's gonna die of an asthma attack. Who <laughs> asked, Blizzy? It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know, how about some hide and seek? Jeez, imagine, gross, imagine making like, smart guys instead of beef. Yeah, who would, <laughs> who, who would ever go for a guy who's made benefit as his mind over his? Ron, when he, who, who go for it? 
The man is 105 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> ah, you're such a kid. Huh? And he wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Lily is doing a murder plot. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Dragon's main benefit is his Wheatley voice. Quit lying to yourself. You're not wrong. It's a shame Andy couldn't have broken free of his sister's charm. He could have gone for the good girl. Their relationship is so toxic that it makes uh, Siahaga River look clean, and that river caught on fire multiple times. Personally, I only like smart and beefy guys. A beef supreme, you might say. Like your Discord name, Ice Man? Hundred. Count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. All right, let's find a good box to shove her in. Sh Ashley is the goodest of girls. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. It's perfect. Lele. You promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Okay. Well, looks like this is our bet. Oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't exactly want, actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't? Ashley's great. I hate her. It's true. Leroy's doing a backflip. Amazing. Amazing. Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. What, the stick just break? Well, no. If she's hunched inside. I doubt she'd have the leverage to... Ready or not, here I come! Ah, crap! She counts too fast! It wasn't that fast, actually. <laughs> Let's hide! Hide! In the box? Where are we... Where are we hiding? Where are we hiding? This container's already full. This crate can't be closed. Um... Where are we hiding? It won't let me hide in the box. My spine feels very 90 degree angle now. Bro, these kids are swearing way too much. Why, did, uh, why didn't anyone talk about that? <laughs> I know, right? There's incest, but like... They swear so much, these children. Where do we get a stick anyway? Andy picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this will do. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No, who do you think, dumbass? Uh, she's fine, I guess. Found you! Both of you! Who hides in the same spot, <laughs> idiots? <laughs> it, it was my spot first! Then you're it! No way, Andy stole my spot, so he is it! Yes, yes, I'll go count. As if the incest was the worst thing they could do at this point. It's true. Andy goes to count outside. <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Fucking idiots playing off meta. Um, okay? Yeah, we're gonna put her in the box. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Incest is one thing, but fucking cursing. Unafucking fucking acceptable How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? My mom does, she'll get mad if I... 100. Oh shoot, he's coming, hurry, hurry! Uh, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Up. <laughs> Huh? What was that? Hee <laughs> hee, I got you now! She's too weak to throw you off the lid. <laughs> this isn't funny, Ashley! Let me out! There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight. <coughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> Is she alright? <laughs> Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen! Let her out, Lily. She's just pretending! No one's ever died from some dust. <laughs> Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? This is she this is super uncomfortable. Yikes. Oh, I love this. This is so twisted. This is horrible. These people are horrible. I love stories about horrible people. They're the best. Because they're the most interesting. Attention all gamers! 
Blank is locked in the crate and needs your help. Just post your credit card number, the three digits of the back, and donate here. For fuck's sake, Andrew, stand up for yourself, you absolute invertebrate. <laughs> it's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <laughs> Everybody likes her better. Bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you. I don't want... I bet... I bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... <gasps> it's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and nobody likes me at all. Ashley, please stop adding me. <laughs> Ashley, please stop adding me like this. <laughs> I like you better, Lily. Prove it. Liar. <sighs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I now, uh, Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Maybe because she doesn't shove people in boxes. <laughs> Yeah, she is loud and weird and annoying, and I love her for it. Did I not just say, La 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 la, talk sure is cheap! God damn it. <laughs> Ashley! <laughs> there, are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best! I like you the best, Andy! You hear that? You gotta stay there until morning! The crocodile tears are crazy. No, please! <laughs> Ashley! Let me out! Please! <laughs> Ashley, wait! Don't! <laughs> Go! Ashley, please! Ashley! Ashley? Are you awake? I am now. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing. It's just... God. What the fuck do we do? You're still on about dinner? God, what a horrible way to die. I know, right? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, to be fair, she, in this particular case, she does kind of have a point. They are starving and that's food. Like, fuck. Like, is this haunted ice cream truck music? Yes. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else are we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Oh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah? I- We wouldn't have to admit that we were there. Could have just told him to go check on the guy. Uh, and she didn't kill the girl either. Not in her mind, surely. She ate him. No, but listen, they were both gonna starve to death, like legitimately. In that specific case, Ash would be dropped in the head by her ever caring mom. It's true. Andrew, what the hell? What? What the hell? It's not the first time I've eaten someone, Ashley, probably. Warden, are they in jail? No, they're in quarantine. So, um, you missed the beginning, but basically, there was a uh, parasite that got trapped in their water, or at least that's what they're telling them. Um, it, it seems rather fishy. I don't think there's actually a parasite, but the reason they've told them that they're quarantining them is that there's parasites in the water and they're infected with them. But they've been starving them. They haven't been giving them food. Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh! Whoosh! There goes my magic wand! There! I've absolved you of your sins! You never took a bite now! You're welcome! Oh gee. Thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen. Who cares? <laughs> Hashtag consume cultists. Uh... Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault! First they lock us in here for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Ugh. Oh, he's so sad and tortured. Ugh. There, there, there. 
It's less the fact that they ate a corpse and more the lack of morality or caring. No, that's very true. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off. But I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just... Uh, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some... Bland, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Uh, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How can you be so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Heg, heg, do not thirst after this man. Believe why it is too late. <laughs> I am thirsty. Give me some water. <laughs> he wasn't strong enough. Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew! What is it, Andrew? Andrew... Andrew... Andy... Ah! I told you to stop calling me that. They're not kids anymore. They're quarantined because of parasites? Yes, Ventus, they're quarantined because of parasites. Also, welcome to the stream. Who man, you're this thirsty now. I can't wait to see how you react to, <laughs> to being in his head. Yes, 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 yes. They should have taken their hypermectin. Why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Where, where, mommy? The big bad me did the evil thing. Shut your whore mouth. Make me a little bitch. Forget this. Hey, Andy. Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lily's quest for something or another. Remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, and we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell the therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. <laughs> True, they need to be dewormed. Use your ivermectin. Gotta get all the wormies out. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They'd throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. We're either we're in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Lily and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. Stop putting this guy in situations and him into therapy. <laughs> I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. Love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. She actually said the title! Sort of. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. I feel like it's you in the face so hard here, see stars. <laughs> your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients, and you're feeling mighty better today. Cool. Where's Andy? Is he in the bathroom? No. Where, where did Andy go? Where's Andy? 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 He's- Is he on the balcony? He's probably on the balcony. No! Where the, where the fuck is he? Oh, he's in here. Why is he in here? Hey yeah, there. Andy just hit a girl. What the fuck? Not cool. Good morning! Why, Jeff, too? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brat brave. Given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Okay, that's cool. Just check with the main menu. And the coffin with a door is because their house is a coffin. The title drop, chat. The title drop! Ah! Debatable. The menu was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here the demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I, I just barely woke up, give me a minute. It says here demons are for human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where'd he get his soul all stuck in here? 
what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Let's do demon summoning! We're summoning demons now, chat. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? Like, our cum? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on! Chat, can we get 10,000 likes? If we get 10,000 likes, I will lock myself in a trunk of my car with no hope of escape. He will do it. It's true. Please do not give me 10,000 likes. One positive I do like about this game is how unique their overworld sprites are. They look like paper. It's really true. No, the, this game's art is phenomenal. I love this. Hedgehog, what? Don't worry about it. I said nothing. Don't worry about it. I said nothing. So how many neighbors do they have? Probably quite a few, considering they're on the fourth story. <laughs> bonk. No, don't bonk me. I'm not the one you're supposed to be bonking. Listen, I warned you about the chat, not me. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. Please or do not, I would miss you. The art is so damn good. Oh, it's true. Listen, every once in a while, an explore horror game comes out, like uh, Project uh, Project Cat slash uh, Paper Lilies right before this, and just every time a really good one comes out, it just makes me go, Mwah! Yes! I love it! I love it. Leroy would miss himself. Leroy has self-esteem! Good for Leroy. All right. Uh, we'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Okay. Let's play some candles. Got one candle. Okay, so... Replace candle. Oh, with the... Okay, yeah, I get what I'm saying. There we go. Okay. Done! What now? Leroy lore. Now we... Uh-oh. Yeah, this is still an early access, but it's easily given to your contender for me just for the rain quality and aesthetic. Oh, for sure. It's really good. Still alive and kicking, are you? You've been quiet lately, pal. Getting a little worried here. <sighs> yeah, hi. Hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. Ugh, fine. I'll check in after my round. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough, go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No! Go before he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. I like the frantic piano playing as they realize all they had to do is stop whining and wait, I know. I just know Andrew's spinelessness has head head kept kicking her feet under the desk. <laughs> no, it doesn't! No, it doesn't! What are you talking about? No, it doesn't! <laughs> Thank you guys for enduring and even appreciating my horniness. Listen. 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 I have a type. Okay. We all know this. It's fine. <laughs> Listen, Leroy, I know you were correcting they desk to the desk, but they desk just sounds so great. That voice, what the hell? <laughs> what this voice? What this voice? Shut up. Okay, um, you get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. I don't appreciate it all, but who am I to judge your type? Bonk Hank, stop bonking me! Stop bonking me! Okay, we have to have this blood. Are you going to do look it clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let me go get the mop. What is he saying? What's he saying? What's he saying? No, no, listen. It'll be a trade. I told you I'm not interested. We got some good books in here. Sure, you can read them while you jack off. I, I thought you said it's fine literature. Oh, yeah. It's real fine. <laughs> like how? You love to see for yourself. I'll trade one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. This is why Abigail Hodge is the better streamer. Much more family friendly. <laughs> oh, please. If Abigail Hodge was playing this game, she'd be even more horny for it than I am. <laughs> See, friends, you're going to miss this level of horny when she sees how Andrew gets... <laughs> you keep saying that, and I am so thrilled. But maybe it's a genre I don't like. Read me a sample. Like hell I will. Do you want me to get in character too? I don't want to go into this blind. Who knows what kind of crap you're reading? It's just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth one of those multi-packs at least. Why is it you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles? One ten-pack. Push them in one by one. Then you'll get the book. I think I would probably be barking anytime. <laughs> it's 
it's true. It's so true. It's so true. Listen here, you. I'm the one holding all the cards here, so I decide what plus negotiations go on and on. Okay, grabbing them up. We gotta hurry. Get, we gotta get this over with. Who knows if we're actually on a timer or not? We're probably not, because it's, it's a horror game, but who knows? Real. She cracked over that one. It's canon. Oh, it's so true. Abigail would start barking for this man. Why is there more blood? There is more blood than there was when I came in here last. Okay. It's all clean. Actually, the warden is going. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta scram. Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You can take it back to your apartment after Junior Brothers' wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm gonna let you try again. Thanks. What? Listen, this isn't it. Okay, I gotta get in here, I guess. No. Um. Oh, I hide in the closet. Duh. You hide in the closet successfully. The closet, yes. Oh, the demon is still here, isn't it? Oh, I bet it is. And just create a bullshit. Uh, greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Ugh, what the? How did you get in here? Oh! Oh, he did. Oh, Andrew just killed him. Ugh. Look at his stupid jeans. Is she speaking in Morse code? <laughs> it doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell them that this is your fault. Come on, Lily. Let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. Ash is in the closet. OMG, she's gay. You did. It happens to the best of us. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? This boy's compartmentalizing so hard right now. Ashley, I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Hi. Oh, looky here. Ah, oh, shit, we got the key. At last, you unlock the door and... Wait, is your name Ashley or Lily? So Lily is a nickname, because Ashley, Lily. Man, Andrew is such a mood. Oh, it's true, Andrew's just as horny for Andrew as I am. <laughs> Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy, just went out the window because of your screw up. Oh, I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your pro what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone. Yeah? Obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see? I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I, okay, so you never want me to, con you, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah? Fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I am not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. Why would you want to contact your mom at this point? Oh, right, attachment issues. Yeah, she's got some. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Oh. Oh, the wall push. Andy, it snows in hell today, I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? Hey, guys. So I really want to voice this one track on now. It's... I'm stressed out, Lily. 
Yeah, I can see that. I know you- I know- I need to know you're taking this seriously. Okay, I think I'd be on Hedgehog's side now. <laughs> yes! There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Mm hmm? All good. Can we go now? Anime hand pressed against the wall moment. Yes! 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 Oh, it's even better when it happens in real life. Yeah. I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad. Or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Vandra's this passive, timid type. This wouldn't be good in the slightest. Excuse me? Don't worry about it. But there are hints just like this. And later on. Ooh, I'm excited. Or come fling food up on our balcony. Would be quite the feat to throw something that high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> but it's alright. Because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's get out of let's get the hell out of here already. Oh shit, okay, we're out. What's in 401? Oh, they're monitoring us. Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh. Let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's just go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Ugh. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Those little sparkles, sound effects play never actually makes it. Andrew Laugh gives me snow grave vibes. It's true. Found fourth floor key. Gee, I wonder why anyone would want to talk to Ashley. <laughs> okay, anything else in here worth mentioning? It's a toilet, there's nothing of interest inside. Happy and cup of noodles. Note on the fridge reads, Notice! From now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. That's funny. Okay, key. 302. Oh, the hot lady in 302. Do we mean to get the, f uh, f the fuck off? I love how their imagine their imagine says fuck off. That's great. That's great. Okay. Down to the third floor. We have a key. Chat, what are they eating noodles? Are they stupid? Because they already ate. Fascinating. They care about blood types. I know. I'm curious. Hey, hot lady. How's it going? Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? Why don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley! Fuck you. Get out, both of you. Leave before I make a scene. Okay. I guess I'm going then. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Cause you're a you're a goth girl, okay? Goth girls are always discriminated against. <laughs> All right. At least according to every fan fiction I've ever read. Boo boo chat, give me some food. Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not, but if you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm. Well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got us a soul to offer. Goth girls are the most oppressed girl confirmed. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really 
really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed. Maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh. Yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Yeah, Asher's the weird one about him, but he's a he's a little bit weird about her, too. None of the door says 1XA, but it's crossed over. He's a little bit weird about her, too. And none of the door reads 2XB. Okay, none of these matter. Okay, we gotta go for the set up the ritual. Go to the fourth floor. Okay, what does the book say? Mm -mm. Oh, my voice is getting hoarse. We got half an hour, we can do it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, need some more. So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. The runes faded out. I need blood. Double check this word also has a gun tucked away somewhere, but all you find is the walkie-talkie. Useless! I don't know, this will hear if the other one tries to contact this one. <laughs> but that girl's a gamer, and gamers are the number one oppressed group. Not if you're a wo not if you're a female gamer, though. Female gamers are treated like goddesses. Trust me, I know I am one. I don't have a chat full of people that constantly belittle me. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at that point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone! Though he'll come in guns blazing. Ah, oh, right. Ah, uh, let me think. Okay, well, we got the walkie-talkie. Well, he's at it. You dip your fingers in the dead God blood. Also, uh, oh, that, that does... Okay, I was gonna say, I haven't saved, like, once. I probably should do that. That saved, right? Yes, okay. I can actually look at my items. Okay, cool. So that's done with, yeah, that's done with Y. Okay, cool. Maybe if Hedgehog wasn't bad at games, she wouldn't be mocked. Shut up! I have an idea. Peg, your hair looks awful today. Thanks. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. My hair always looks awful, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. It's not one of my finest features that I specifically shove in front of my headphones so people see it. It's not It's not true at all. Looks like hair to me. Oh. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. Huh. All right, then. Let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Had your hair looks fine, Lamau. Thank you, my smart, my number one simp. I appreciate it. Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Okay. Oh, no, that's their room. Go to the third floor. It doesn't look as good as my hair. Though. No, it's true, madam. Your hair is gorgeous. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me! Huh? What's going to happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Your hair looks better than fine. It looks awesome. Too bad you suck at video games, otherwise you might have been worthy of human rights. <laughs> huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. Uh, I don't understand. You only need to understand what's we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh care for a quick visit a quick visit huh i mean if you want to have a good time that is <laughs> well i'll be i'm always up for a good time if you know what i mean <laughs> yeah boys <laughs> give, give us my vibes in the chat <laughs> was it room 405 i guess that word was really croaked um <laughs> nothing i'll be right there sweet cheeks you cut the conversation there 
All right, Ken. Let's go. I look over now. What do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise! Go finish it. I'll keep it quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass! Fine. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Lily, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got a lighter. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. Okay, let's light the candles. Cool, turn the music on. I actually, before I do this, I want to save quick. Okay, now we turn on the music. So now what am I supposed to... Ah, something is here! Who are you? I can't see! You are asking me my name, human? Ah, uh, what do you offer? Ugh, yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shocked, the one reaches for his gun. Ah, him! I have for him! What the? Ah! So, uh, well, how is it? Human with tar colored sword. I give you this. We offer you a donation! Donate now, chat! Pay the deal! <laughs> Unidentifiable small objects. Hold it for an occasional clever injury to gauge the troubles. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Demon. The entity is left, and you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, all that happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted, and it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. Salvation cannot be bought. We are all doomed. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a viscous, black, pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. I love this game. <laughs> hey, buddy, how you doing? Ah, key to second floor. Got gun. At last time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. Because Andy thought she was cute. Oh man, she's just like Hedgehog. Tia, Tia, Tianmen Square. Hello. Hi. I don't know what a Yusu is. I'm assuming you're role playing. We we don't role play here, sir. But I hope you'll stick around to to watch some siblings be cannibals. Oh, he already killed her. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains in the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let her. Well, I let go. Why? You're taking a while. I figured you wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Ugh. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. That's what you got, an unidentified small object. That's true. That is what I got. Sorry. I am recovering from vertigo. I'm a little bit loopy. The last time I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Okay, okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time, indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. She's always this loopy. Shut up, I'm not always this loopy. I'm just 90% this loopy. Well, I'm not celibate, what's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just needed to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! 
Blow it out of your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? Oh, what a tattletale. You're better off with that loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah? All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet your bloody love it here. Bet, oh, bet you bloody love it here where I can't so as much as take a piss without you knowing. Ha, <laughs> and I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I, fuck, what a prime example of your, you, just you. Ha <laughs> ha you would, you would, I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. <laughs> I don't know, I think she's fine. <laughs> Uh, they're British. Apparently they're British. Apparently they're British. Back at your beck and call just like it was way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you don't listen to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Ugh, of course we are. Just... Ugh. Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay, then. I'm going. Oh, no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me! It's not my fault! I didn't lock us in here! I didn't kill the cultists! I didn't even kill the warden! Which one? Neither! You did! And the demon! I'm all innocent! I've not harmed a single soul! Of course not! You make me do it for you! I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock her in that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that Andy. My poor Andy. God, this is fun. Oh, this is fun, the voice act. So, I just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. Okay, can I just say for a minute, sorry to break the tension in the mood, but... There are not enough female characters that get to be like this. And I'm so glad when one comes around. Because there are not enough female characters that get to be crazy in a way that isn't just lustful. Like, she's lustful. Obviously, she's lustful. But there's so much else that's screwed up with her. We don't even know if her feelings towards her brother are romantic at this point. Or whether she's just codependent and just cr a crazy, like, absolutely obsessed little sister. It's, ah, uh, it's so good. It's so good. I love this. I love this a lot. Okay. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. Ah. Oh, she's getting choked. <gasps> oh, she's getting choked. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You can't, cause I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now go like she did. Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I 
probably will. I'll make such a scene, too. Yeah. So I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to. I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah. Okay. I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you. Very much. Though if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. It's not... If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. <laughs> I don't... Give a shit about her! I'm glad she choked! I know you are. No one knows it was us! So what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right, our quest continues. What do we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so... Spineless. And I hate Lily like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can move. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. You're so exhausting. Nonsense! I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes! I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. God, they're both so fucked up. <laughs> These two are both so fucked up. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the second floor. We got 20 minutes left. Let's go to the second. What's in here? What's this bullshit now? Ah, look, an open window! Great. Jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. They're so great. Oh, yeah, they're so- they are perfect. Oh, I- I- I love them. I love them. I love them. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it, isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm right about to be uh, setting up to record Higarashi, so the, the recording of this might be delayed, but I really, really, really want to dub this. I really, really want to dub this. What if we climb to the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, it won't. We've got to set something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. Got carpet. Cool. Okay. Okay. All of these are are locked. What can I secure this to? Because I can go back up to the third or fourth floor, but I doubt there's anything up there. Anything to secure the carpet with? Uh, the couch maybe. No. What? Maybe it is something on one of the other floors. We didn't really check that woman's apartment very thoroughly. We just had a big blowout scream fest in there. Let's let's go looking back in here. Maybe there's something in here. I already checked. There's nothing there. Sniffing around a lady's bathroom, were you? I had to wash her blood off of me. All oh, right. Excuse accepted. Thanks. Dead of stone, your happiness is immeasurable. <laughs> Got nail gun! Ah, okay, that's how we secure it. With the nail gun. Doi. Second floor. Okay, to use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has gotta be something else. I'm going for it! If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. Ugh, alright, you first then. Damn right I go first. I am a lady. You climb down. Very unladylike. Hey, here we are. We made it. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town. And then find a buffet restaurant. Oh! Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as you never come into contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. 
Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I, even then, I don't think it's going to. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out, lest we live under a bridge or something. Like trolls, we'll eat those and won't pay the toll to cross. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise, I'm a, I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. Everything has indeed gone to shit. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. <laughs> you get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. There wasn't even any incest! <laughs> like, there wasn't any incest! I'm assuming it must happen in the second chapter, but like, there wasn't even any incest! <laughs> People were complaining about incest, and there was no incest! <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Now, oh no, I, f I figured it'll happen in the second chapter. Um, you have to come back and stream chapter. Oh, I will absolutely come back to stream chapter two, one hundred percent. This was amazing. This was awesome. This is great. This is great. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm gonna end streaming a little early just because this is a really good place to stop. But um, no, this game was fantastic. I loved it. I loved every second of it. Um, I really, really, really want to dub at least parts of this with Dragon. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, we'll see if I can, we'll see if I can convince him to do it with me. I think I can. I think, I, I'll pull a lay, I'll pull a Lily on him, I'll go, Dragon, you never do anything with me, you hate me, you like every woman beside me better, because you won't do this one thing for me, it'll be great. Don't worry about it, our relationship is totally normal. It is, I'm, I'm being a jackass. Anyway, have a good night. Thanks guys for joining us, this is a great time. I will see you all next week, where hopefully I will be 100% back to normal. Um... Thank you very much.